One of the wellness fundamentals is nutrition and nutrition impacts attention, energy, someone's endurance, how alert they are, how resilient they are to illness and disease. A little flu goes around the office, super healthy people that just don't pick them up the same way. So nutrition impacts these things. But then as an employer, we say, well, what are we meant to do about that? We can't control what people eat. Well, sort of yes and no. Like what snacks are available in your workplace? If people take a lunch break, how far do they have to go before they can access something that's particularly healthy? Do you have a kitchen that facilitates and allows people to bring healthy food into the workplace? Or do you have training that teaches somebody how to prepare food that is in their best interest? Like why are all these cooking shows so popular? People love food and they like to do it in a classy, stylish way. Don't take for granted that everybody knows how to cook and prepare a healthy meal. Most people have got no idea of the difference between calories and nutrition. They don't realize that some food burns in the body like fuel. If you throw petrol on a fire, well, it's not lit. You throw petrol on it, it light it, whoosh, it doesn't actually sustain. Yet, if you get some little lighter blocks and you light those, the fire burns infinitely, it just keeps on going, burns slowly and long. Well, food has an impact on the body like that, but people don't know that. They don't know how to repair it. They don't know how to recognize it. And then is the workplace actually conducive to even bringing it? This is what nutrition in the workplace is. It's not controlling what people eat. It's just making sure that the healthiest options are facilitated and available and educated to your employees so that you can have the highest likelihood of attention, endurance, resilience and like in your employees.